If you've ever wondered, well, yeah, Gordon Ramsay cooks really quickly, but how long would that take someone like me? Or you, or whoever, like an average normal person? Well, you've come to the right place. Five minutes, seconds. Gordon Ramsay has this challenge where he tries to cook a complicated, good looking dish in under 10 minutes. It's called Gordon Ramsay Cooks in 10. And I'm gonna try for the second time one of these dishes. This time his carbonara recipe. But this version today will not be the authentic Italian way of making it. This is Gordon Ramsay's interpretation of carbonara. So he's taken certain British liberties when it comes to ingredients. So keep that in mind and don't shoot the messenger. And when Gordon starts one of these challenges, he has everything in front of him. And then 10 minutes starts after he has everything. He just grabs things. I wanna do this at a more realistic pace. So well, I'll set two timers. One for me getting everything in front of me ready to go. And then second for the actual cooking. First timer starts now. 11 minutes, it took 11 minutes to get all this prepped, ready to go. This is where Gordon Ramsay is when he starts his video. Oh, of course, don't forget. Boil some pasta water with some salt. If you wanna add an extra five seconds onto that timer, go right ahead. Start the second timer now. Good luck. 80 grams of a streaky bacon. Cut it up into like lardons, like little pieces. Flip the cutting board upside down. Two cloves of garlic, very thinly sliced. Two thinly sliced mushrooms. One chili pepper, but I couldn't find chili peppers where I am right now, so I'm using a scotch bonnet. Somehow I was able to find this in a chili pepper, which is much hotter than a chili pepper. I don't think this is Italian whatsoever. I'm only using about half the scotch bonnet pepper. I ain't crazy. <laughs> Medium heat. Frying pan, olive oil. Once the oil heats up, in goes the bacon. Crank in some black pepper. Water is boiling. I feel pretty good to add in the spaghetti at this point right now. So that's gonna take 10 minutes. So after two minutes, I'm gonna add the garlic, the mushrooms, and the mother scotch bonnet. Pray for me. Two egg yolks mixed. And Parmesan cheese goes into the egg yolk. Like that much, I guess. Mix that in. Gordon adds creme fraiche into this. I'm subbing with just regular old milk. Also just a little touch of water. Continue to mix. The secret weapon. 30 grams of frozen peas. This is just completely a Gordon thing. Get those in there. I'm so sorry about the peas. Chop up some parsley. Quickly, quickly, quickly. After 10 minutes, let's get the pasta out. It's gotta be al dente, and it is. So add pasta water into the pan. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Stir it, mix it, shake it. In goes the pasta, the spaghetti. Mix it all in. So this is a really important time. Now from there, mix that up, get everything ready. Black pepper, salt, turn the heat off. This egg mix here, this is the trickiest part. Add it in and keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, and keep stirring. Please don't scramble, please don't scramble. And add the parsley. Everything's together, good. Back over here. Need a plate. Whoa. Fresh. <coughs> Whew, the scotch. <coughs> scotch bonnet pepper is hot. Fresh Parmesan on top. Okay, I think that's it. Twenty-five minutes, forty-four seconds, including the prep time, which was like what, eleven minutes or something. So what, thirty-six minutes or so. So you know, a little over half an hour to make this thing. Scotch bonnet pepper really made it. Oh, it's good. It's tasty. Here's a little honesty, just some full disclosure. I had to make this dish twice today. By the time it got to me adding the egg yolks to the hot pan, I added them too early and then I uh, took my eye off the pan and they just immediately scrambled and screwed up everything that I was working on and I was just so pissed off in the moment that I paused the timer and cursed my mouth off, <laughs> caught myself back up again and then resumed the timer and the rest you know. So if you think that I need to add like a 30 minute penalty stroke to my final time or something, Totally cool.